With every improvised explosive device the EOD teams dispose of, countless lives are saved. In Ramadi, Iraq, the 731st EOD company is working together with the Ramadi Iraqi Police Department to ensure these IPs are ready to take the reins and continue the explosive ordnance disposal mission when the Martin soldiers withdraw from Iraq. Basically, we're uh, going over some procedures, basic demo, things they might not know, remote procedures, because uh, IBDC has had problems with uh, personnel not doing remote procedures, and so it's to help them protect their lives in the future. The class included about seven IPs who've already graduated from a 12-week Iraqi counter-explosive team course. So this class provided refresher training for the officers to keep their skills sharp. During the class, the instructors reiterated the basics, including proper knot tying techniques. See, this one's got to be inside there, okay? The IPs were also given situational exercises where they had to don their bomb suit and react. For these U.S. Army EOD soldiers, this class is more than just training they had to give their Iraqi EOD counterparts. It's important to know that when we pull out that they're going to be safe and they're going to hopefully use all the training that we've given them and they're going to use it to protect the civilians who can't protect themselves. And after U.S. forces withdraw from the country, protecting civilians of Ramadi is exactly what these Iraqi police officers will be trained and equipped to do. Reporting from Ambar Province, Iraq, I'm Army Sergeant Nikisha Nieves.